What the heck's going on out here? These guys are more distracted than a bunch of cats playing laser tag. They heard all the pundits saying we suck. Pundits. You were a pundit. Ted takes the responsibility of of being a coach and specifically a soccer slash football coach. Um, not more seriously, because I think he always took it seriously, but with with a level of curiosity that may that Nate's absence probably allows. You know, like uh, I, I think Ted is 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 willing and able and maybe even has a gift for delegating and encouraging people to become the best version of themselves, you know, by their own measure, uh, not by his necessarily. And uh, and with Nate's departure, it leaves space for, you know, in the realms of tactics, if you will, like just straight up, like, you know, the the style of play that the team's going to use, it leaves space for exploration and, and for Ted to walk the walk of, uh, you know, being curious and not judgmental. <laughs> I'm Brazilian, so in Brazil, football is a big issue, you know. So, but at the same time, I was struggling like uh, two seasons ago to convince people in Brazil to watch Teddy Lasso because it's not about football. And it is about football, but it's not only about it. Like it's about so much more. So I wish you could, you know, talk a little bit about it. Like you, in this seasons, you're kind of like a turncoat. But a bad turncoat, I can feel, because you empathize for the, you know, you still empathize for your friends, you know. They are not your enemies. So you're talking about a lot of stuff, you know, in your character. So I wish you could talk a little bit about it. Yeah, I mean, I I, I feel like we, we join Nate in season three, uh, another sort of turning point in his in his life. Um, obviously, he started off in season one as the sort of lowly kit man and... Um, uh Ted comes into his life, empowers him, uh, ultimately promotes him to coach, which is this really, you know, life affirming sort of moment for, for Nate. But then sadly, you know, in season two, that little bit of responsibility, a little bit of power and so on, and vanity goes to his head and quite quickly, yeah, he takes a sort of turn for the worse and there's a sort of downward trajectory of him sort of displaying far more toxic behaviour and hating on Ted and um, ultimately betraying him and, and going to the rival team at West Ham under Rupert, who is by no means a force for good at all. And so, yeah, that's that's where we find Nate at the start of this season. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess in terms of trying to sort of empathise with the character, I think that was that was part of the challenge was to sort of make that, um, that journey as believable as possible. Um, and, you know, I, th I think for a lot of people, it was it was a a real gut punch because they did feel betrayed by Nate because they'd been really rooting for him when he was that underdog in season one, such that when he does ultimately betray Ted in such a kind of cruel and, vind in vind cruel and vindictive way in at the end of season two, it, it just feels like, well, there's no, there's no going back for this character. He's sort of done the sort of most unforgivable thing, but you know, like with Ted Lasso, not everything is as it seems. And I think season three, we kind of largely explore, um, our capacity for forgiveness and um and 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 you know Nate has so much soul searching to do I think ultimately his behavior really stems from the toxic relationship he has with his dad um not to condone his actions or to sort of you know he was he, he made the decisions that he made and he he does need to um he needs to personally account for what he's done so not to just sort of just blame his dad outright or anything like that but um but but yes I always try to sort of find a place uh for Nate so she could almost sort of uh empathize with what he did even though you wouldn't necessarily make those decisions yourself. We get to see the the team, the community, the um you know the uh the chosen family of, of AFC Richmond, the Greyhounds from from you know the the team itself to the coaching staff to the you know the 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 brass as we call them you know Rebecca and Higgins and and Keely Jones we get to see them deal with influences both positive and negative and and discerning whether those what is right what is the best fit for them to succeed uh, in whatever 
definition success is for you. Well, hey, how about this one? Regarding my panic attacks, I've had more psychotic episodes than Twin Peaks. <laughs> Beard is one of my favorite characters because I, I love the way he's not positive as that, you know, not smiley, very mysterious, but at the same time, the screaming part. I love the screams, you know, like every time you scream, I'm, I'm like, ah. it, it feels like the first time. Is it a way, you know, how did you come up with the screams? And in, in this season, he screams a lot. How, how did you come up with this? You know, it's a way to show he has emotions. You know what I mean? Like, I really love that. Yeah, well, thanks, Lavia. It, um, it really is just something that was in the script. Um, and like, I, I hadn't been in whatever writing session put that in the script. I was somewhere else doing something. And, you know, get the script and, um, you know, Ted says thing about Zava, beard screams. And I'm like, oh, I got a scream? Oh, gosh. Ooh. In fact, I think I even was like, shouldn't I just say something here? Wouldn't that make more sense? And every, everyone was like, no, scream. Like, fine. And, uh, yeah, it turns out people get a kick out of that. <laughs> so uh, we had them keep doing it. But, eh, yeah, you never know how these things are going to turn out. Yeah, but but it's a good, it's a funny way, you know, like, I think I was talking to the other actors and, we were talking about how Ted Lasso is about football or soccer for Americans, but it's not about football at the end of the day. It's about friendship, relationships, and also fragility and masculinity. You know what I mean? Like like men can be more, you know, fragile in a good way. So I love this, like you created this cream because it's like, it shows his emotions. You know what I mean? I, I know it's supposed to be fun, funny, but at the end of the day, it works as well. So thank you. Yeah, you know, I mean, beard beard contains multitudes. Um, you know, he may have won a uh, lumberjack competition at some point in his life, and and he may have certain masculine things. But but he's still in, in touch with his emotions, especially when they're about people breaking up. Yeah, for sure. And uh, you, one of the creators of the show, how do you feel about you know this universe, this football universe, to talk about emotions? But also, you know, the, the season, I, I I hope it's not the final one. You know, I'm already melancholic. I told the other guys. But how did you, how do you feel about this third season? Oh, I mean, um, I feel very uh, grateful and fortunate that we were able to get this many seasons um, and be able to tell the, the story as we originally imagined it. I think this season, at, at the very least, I think this season holds up compared to our first two. But yeah, in terms of, in terms of whether there's more, we're, we're, we're going to wait and see. We're going to take a break after this and we'll decide later. Um, but in terms of like, yeah, the giganticness of what this thing has become, I mean, it's just so unexpected and and heartwarming um, and and just very, 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 very grateful to to for people to have, you know, not only enjoyed our, our little comedy, but also to have, you know, found such meaning in it that's that's a rare and wonderful thing true especially in a comedy like and i love you know the the pair you know the partnership between you and teddy and jason you know like uh you both up and high high and up you know like uh, how how do you feel about this partnership oh it's great i mean <laughs> you know um i like the dynamic between the characters and it's just you know a incredible rare and wonderful thing to be able to be working day in day out with someone who I I've you know known for so long and uh, been working with you know you know for from such a long time but never worked on with the day-to-day -day intensity of this and now we've been doing it three seasons and we don't hate each other yet so yeah and we we must we must have done okay and which is a lot you don't hate each other yet <laughs> <laughs> there's still time great, there's still time yeah, there's there's always time but great accomplishment right job oh Rock can't just said great job. Oh. Uh, Ted Lasso is about football, but it's about a lot of stuff like friendship, love. Mm -hmm. So how do you how do you handle this character? You know, he's so warm and <laughs> ah, I love him. Um no, I think this like like you said, the show um it does a really good job of, you know, kind of Trojan horse in these really uh important and universal themes. Um, about uh, family and and uh, love and friendship and 
curiosity uh, like it, it does a good job like funneling all of these like really universal themes in through the guise of this football comedy about you know this American coach who doesn't get it and all of this stuff so yeah again that's like testament to our creative team and the Sam Abusanya of it all um, I again just feel really privileged to be able to play this part and tell the story um, he's such a unique character it's been great to go on this journey with him and watch him like uh, find his uh find himself and you know like grow into into manhood um through these three seasons and um yeah i'm excited to show the rest of the world you know the the final stage of of his growth in season three how, how do you feel about season three you know i was talking to nick and mm -hmm. i told him there was a feeling melancholic because it was supposed to be the final you know the season final oh, oh. which i hope not but <laughs> yeah. but how do how did you you know feel about it i mean we don't know uh, whether or not it'll be the final season yet um i think for me uh the main thing that i tried to do was just you know stay present and stay in the moment and and be there or, um on the day like the most important thing was season three and telling that story and um we didn't really have time to worry about whether it was going to be the final one or not so um i'll leave that to the decision makers and and right now i'm just really excited to, to tell the season three story i love you guys so very much on three one two three I love you guys very much. listen this season in particular um I, you know i think it, it delivers in so many ways and and um certainly when we kind of came to the end of filming because it had been a particularly long shoot eight months or so um uh it was really emotional at the end you know it was a really emotional day and um these people you know i think the cast and crew we're kind of friends for life now because we spent so much time together and um they're such a wonderful bunch and you know if i take anything away from my experience of ted lasso it'll be have, have, have gotten to work with those wonderful people you know we're like a, a family now really I'll win again. I'll win again.